What's up guys, Lectorn here, and I'm back, and I am really excited right now, because it's like 1am, so I have to be kind of quiet, but new patch notes for Final Fantasy XIV just dropped, like, 10 hours ago on Reddit, and I am super excited. Final Fantasy XIV has been one of my favorite games in the few in the past few months, it just has so much content in it, Play, one, player base is probably one of the best out there, I am just so happy with it. And with the release of Shadowbringers coming out, we are getting an actual new patch content that's going to kind of expand on some of the Shadowbringers stuff. So let's get right into this. So first off, playable content. So for 2x, 2.x, to ensure that new players will be able to enjoy the story of Castrum Meridanium and the Praetorium, the events in both duties will now be told entirely through cutscenes. Due to technical limitations, both duties will still require 8 players to queue in. I think this is a really good idea because, I mean, I'm going to be sitting there and I'm going to be wanting to farm my um, Elegant Tombstones of Poetics and I'm going to be forced to be doing like battle and shit and I just want to be able to sit back and enjoy my story. I mean, this is something that I've been seeing echoed through a lot of the community and I really think that this is a step in the right direction. I think that... All of the different poetics should poetic farming or not poetic uh, tombstone farming. It should be all cutscenes. All cutscenes just let us enjoy the story while we're trying to farm our tombstones. 5.x players of pre-order Shadowbringers can now select the Viera and Hrothgar races. Upon registering pre-order code for Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers to service account, Viera and Hrothgar will be selectable races when creating new characters, editing characters' appearance, using Fantasia, or hiring a trainer. Now, I think this is a terrible idea. Not just... I mean, I love the Viera and I love the Hrothgar. I think both of them look amazing. But... Who the fuck buys Fantasias? And that's that's just the reality of it, you know? I mean, I can't say anything about... I can't say anything else about it. Housing. In order to qualify for a house... Or, I should probably read the other part. A new residential district has been added to Ishgard called Kurthus Eastern Highlands. Okay. And some good duality there. Good duality with the lore, you know, with the Kurthus Western Highlands. Um, in order to qualify for a house in this new district, players will have to change their last name to one of the high houses of Ishgard. I think that is a really cool lore idea. Like, if you want to own a house in Ishgard, you kind of have to be, like, one part of one of the high houses. You kind of have to be, like, one of their manservants or something. Um, I actually think that's a really cool idea. I think that uh, I'm just looking forward to new housing. You know, I, I, want, I want a new house, frankly. I have, like, 3 million gil saved up. 4 million gil right now. Let's see. Gold saucer. Don't care about that. Um, okay, battle system. This is the important stuff. For me, at least. Let's see. Okay, Gladiator Paladin, Passage of Arms. Passage of Arms would also now allow Passage of Legs. That is probably the best change that I've heard since the release of Stormblood. Or the announcement of Shadowbringers. Because I'm trying to use Passage of Arms a lot when I'm trying to fucking main tank. And it, it doesn't work because my legs are too fucking dummy thick and I just can't get through. You know what? So I think this is a change, and it'll definitely bump Paladin up the tier list. Savage Blade. The name of the skill will now change depending on the difficulty of the current duty. I also think that's really good, because right now Savage Blade is just such a powerful skill that really its main use should be only in Savage Raids. And I think that having it be Normal Blade in a Normal Raid is going to be a lot more encouraging to use you're not going to feel like a total dick because you're playing a holy character and you also are using an ability named savage so i think calling it normal blade or hard blade hard blade especially i think is the best name possible Let's see flash due to security concerns name of the skill has been changed to javascript i don't speak nerd shit so i can't really say anything about that using this skill in the duty castrum fluminus during Selenomancy will now uh, turn the entire floor dark. I th also, like I said, for uh, the Praetorium and Castrum Meridinium, I think that this is um, the p 
perfect change for lore reasons. Okay, Warrior. Vengeance. Repeated use of the skill will now change its name to Revengeance. Uh, that's good. That's good. I think that's good because we already have the Neo Raids coming. We have the, um, we have the Final Fantasy XV collaboration event. I think if we can just pack in as many references to other series in Final Fantasy XIV, um, you know, maybe like change the name of the game or something. I think that would be a really good idea. Just to try to fit in a few more references. Uh, equilibrium. The skill is now rewarded upon completion of the duty containment bay P1T6. Same thing. Same thing I was talking about. I At this point, I genuinely think we should just change the name to something like... Let's see. Final Fantasy XIV. It could turn into something like Octopath Traveler XIV. And I, th I think that that would drive sales way up, personally. I think that would be a really good idea. Square Enix, listen to me. I've been playing this game for super long now. It's been, what, maybe like four months? I'm one of your veteran players, you know. Listen to me, please. Let's see. Shake it off. Change name to Shake Your Booty. That one's pretty obvious. You know, we were all thinking it. Can't really say anything about that. Unchained. Added effect. Usage removes all tethering effects. I think that's going to be really good when you're using skills like Home Gang, because if you're using Home Gang, uh, frankly, usually if I'm trying to tank and I'm using Home Gang, I don't want to be sitting there for a while, you know? Like, I don't care if I fucking die. I don't care if I fucking cancel Home Gang by getting untethered. Just, I don't care. I'd rather, I'd rather die than not be able to move. You know, that's just my opinion, though. Uh, let's see. Dark Knight. Please ensure you have Dark Knight at level 70 for the Shadowbringers expansion, as it is the only way to experience the expansion as intended. I agree with this wholeheartedly, because, um, what is it? I've actually been leveling my Dark Knight. I think I'm at level 30 right now? Yeah. I level it all the way up to level 30. So, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on my way there. I'm on my way there. Let's see, Dark Arts. Added Dark Arts effect. Changes skill to Darker Arts. Added Darker Arts effect. Change the skill to darkest arts. I think that is really good because it shows you the progression of your own skill as you keep going, as you keep going, even throughout a fight. Salted Earth. Casting this ability on a garden patch will now destroy all plants currently growing in it. Added darkest arts effect. Deals damage with the potency of 75 to any allies who enter. I think this is really good for gameplay reasons. And it'll not only make Dark Knight a better class because you know you're kind of like for lore, lore wise it's going to be a better class now because you're kind of like hurting everybody even your allies with your edge but you're also like killing a bunch of plants which is always a good thing let's see blackest night at a darkest hearts effect play shadow bring your theme song when full 20 percent or 10 percent is absorbed mm, that's really good also because I can't find a Shadowbringers theme anywhere. And frankly, I just want to listen to it. Living Dead. Change name to Overkills the Living Dead. Add its darkest arts effect. While under the effects of Walking Dead, you perform slash Hildebrand emote. Um, no opinion on this. I'm not caught up to the main story. Can't say anything. Dark Mind. Use it to the skill. will link Post the link to your Tumblr blog in the party chat. That is... Frankly, I think the perfect name for that skill, if that's what it does. I'll just say that. I don't have a Tumblr. Don't ever plan to get one. But if I did, and I use this skill, then people would be subjected to my dark mind. Soul Survivor. Add a Darkest Starts effect. Restore 100% of maximum HP and MP if you're the last party member alive. So another just really edgy, another edgy thing. Pretty good. I like it. Howling Strike, a woo, uh, fucking furries. Form Shift, you can no longer use a skill before you finish filling out the farm, unless you are under the effects of Perfect Balance. I think this is really good too, because just earlier, I hit level 30 on Archer, and I actually didn't read the form when it comes to the whole, um, performing thing, performing thing when you turn into a bard, and so I kind of wish that they forced me to read it, because I didn't actually read it, now I don't know what I can and can't do as a bard. Steel Peak. This skill is renamed to Steel Peak after you level Rogue to 30. That's, yeah, that's pretty cool. Kind of like, 
incentivizing you to actually level multiple classes. Boot shine, added effect. Earn 10 gil when used on an enemy currently wearing boots. That's a smart idea because it actually incentivizes you to use a skill. Lancer Dragoon. I'm actually a Dragoon main, so this will be good for me. In accordance with the lack of fangs and claws, the name of the skill would change to Tooth and Nail. Unless the player character is a Hrothgar. I don't plan to play Hrothgar. Uh, and I think Tooth and Nail is a far better name, frankly. Spine Shatter Dive. If attack fails to hit a target, your spine will shatter instead. I like this a lot because it adds a kind of risk-reward. Like a risk-reward thing to Dragoon. More than just like using blood for blood and uh, playing a Dragoon. Sonic Thrust. In preparation for a new expansion, Shadowbringers. Name of the skill has been changed to Shadow Thrust. Uh, again, like I said earlier, I think that this is really good because we should just jam pack in as many references as we can into this game to the point where we can't even tell that it's Final Fantasy anymore. That is, I think, the perfect way for this game to go. Elusive Jump. To save time using this skill in a trial without walls will now instantly kill you. I mean, it practically already does that but yeah like they said it's just to save time and i really think that that is going to bump the dragoons up quite a bit on the tier list i mean they're already top tier so might as well make them the best class in the game <coughs> rogue or ninja hide bosses will now have to count to 10 before you can use this ability mm, i'm not sure how much i like this just because i mean i never liked hide and seek as a child because it was always me hiding and my uncle seeking okay hellfrog medium visit your nearest inn to upgrade the skill to a hellfrog large um i don't know if they do that at the gridanian inn though i don't know that's just my thing trick attack Na change name to tricky dick that one that one i like i don't like ninja i don't like the ninja changes so far but that one i like armor crush Girls and guys in heavy plate armor heart. I agree. I agree. Samurai. To save time when a samurai joins party, it will instantly disband. Um, that one, I actually really like because I secondary samurai. Samurai is my second highest class. Uh, so I actually really like that because it saves me the pain of having to sit through a bunch of people calling me a fucking Sam main. Um, and then just leaving. And I can just keep going in. Let's see. Potency has been doubled for Midari Setsugeka. Um, yeah, I don't think that ability did enough damage. Not even close. So I really like that. Third eye. Usage of this ability will transform the player character into Garlean. I don't like that because of lore reasons. Um, I already have my fix of Garleans in the rest of the story. Yukikaze. Um, usage of this battle skill, or usage of this skill will now summon a battleship. I think that should be renamed to Kamikaze, personally. Ageha. Um, usage of this skill will now make your character burst into dance. I mean, I already do that in the middle of a fight, just slash dance. But, so, I don't really think that skill is necessary. But, whatever. Meditate. The skill can now only be used after you are asked a question. Hmm, let me meditate on that. I think that is the perfect change because as it is i think samurai is just a little bit too fast paced it's a little bit too complicated and so if somebody asks you a question on how to do something sometimes you just want to sit back and relax archer bard using army's peon mage's ballad or full requiem will now bring up the performance interface players will have to hit the notes specified or the skill effect will end early eh, i'm kind of indifferent on this change because, like I said earlier, I actually have no fucking idea how to use a performance thing and what I can and can't do. So, I think I'm... Oh, wait. Actually, Battle Voice. Each of the skill will now require you to scream into your microphone. Uh, thank God I have this pretty nice one right here. Let's see. Iron Jaws. Play a 4-4 four, four string uh, ostinato in D minor. Don't get that. Oh, wait a second. I get that. Pitch perfect. The skill can not only be used if you screamed in perfect pitch during battle voice. I've got, I've got that. Preparation for the new expansion, Shadowbringers. Uh, Machinist has been renamed to Gunmaker. I like that a lot because we, if we need, a, if we have a Gunbreaker, we need a Gunmaker. That's just how things work, you know. Bootstrap paradox. If 
if this thing breaks then how but it doesn't have an origin then how did it exist in the first place you know slug shot added effect effect afflicts targets with heavy so it literally turns him into a slug okay bishop auto turret adds hypercharge effect turret will repeatedly cast holy okay because it's a bishop cooldown because it was inaccurate name has been changed to gcd okay i like that i like that make it a little less confusing i mean the thing is machinist has already been so confusing to the point where nobody plays it so i think streamlining it like they have like they did in this patch, or like they're gonna do in this patch is a really really good step in the right direction thaumaturge black mage freeze using this skill will make it easier for guards to arrest you um uh, i mean i never freeze so i don't fucking i'm never gonna use that Ley lines skill description has been updated to have more accurate reflect that you will be targeted by all mechanics while this ability is active. That's good because um, I feel like when I cast ley lines, I get a global taunt on me and that's just, it's just not reflected. It's just not reflected in the skill description. And I think that this is really nice and it'll kind of put out a warning for anybody who, out there who wants to play black mage sharp cast. Ow, I think I cut myself. Um, I don't think that's a real change. I think that that's just a dev saying something in the patch notes. Almost. Hmm. That almost makes me think that this entire thing is like fake or something. Because I feel like a dev wouldn't actually put that in there. Although I don't know. Your GP has been known to do some pretty weird stuff. Anyways, foul. If you cast this spell three times within one battle, you'll be disqualified. I think that's a really good change as well. Because in most games, three fouls and you're out. But Final Fantasy XIV just doesn't have that for some reason. So I think having that is a really big improvement to kind of, again, like I said, the streamlining of the game. Arcanist Summoner. After completing the level 70 summoner quest and art for the living... Summoners may talk, may now talk to Yamitra in Old Gridania to re undertake quests to unlock additional eggies, each with their own unique abilities. Please note that you cannot undertake an eggie quest until you have beaten this corresponding primal. In accordance with these changes, summoner is now a limited job. This is really good, I think, because Blue Mage is lonely, and so it needs a friend, and I think summoner is that friend now. So, try disaster, add effect. Randomly affects three of your party members with doom. Um, I mean, I don't really see this working that well, considering it's a limited job now. So if everybody's a summoner, everybody's going to be affected with doom. Actually, that might work really well. Actually, I yeah, that's my probably my favorite change in the patch so far. Pain flare. Cause your foe to fall to the ground with flaring back pains. I mean, like I said, like I said, streamlining the names, making them do what they actually say. Worm Wave, the fantasy alternative to Synth Wave. Okay, I mean, I think that's more of a bard thing, but let's see how many more things. Okay, not a lot. Uh, let's see, Red Mage. Displacement, the skill effect has been changed to fall into the nearest pit and die to more accurately reflect the nature of this ability. I don't really like this change, personally, because... That's more of a Dragoons thing. You know? I I don't really like the idea of Red Mage taking the identity of my main class. But, I mean, hey. Everything's got to make an identity. Sometimes they just coincide. Acceleration. Added effect. Inflict self with haste. Like I said, make the abilities do what they say. Dwer Chow. Um, the skill can now only be used when the player character is a Lalafell. Uh, I think that's a good change because right now there is no use to being a Lalafell other than uh, child pornography. And um, yeah, I think this gives an actual incentive to be a Lalafell other than just being a pedophile. And I think that is really good because we're, we're going to see the already extremely high Lalafell numbers just spike up. And so that helps with both the um, it helps with both the red mage mains and also the pedophiles. In 
and child porn island. So I think that's a really interesting change. Uh, scatter. Usage will now randomly spread your party members across the map. Okay. Um, so I think that in this change, they're taking, they're taking inspiration from that one John Mulaney skit where they were at that party and one of his friends threw down a bottle of like whiskey or some shit and just yelled scatter and everybody went in different directions. Because as far as I know, scatter is a completely made up word because I've never heard that word actually used in a sentence before. Conjurer White Mage. We accidentally washed White Mage together with Red Mage. In accordance with this, White Mage has been renamed to Pink Mage. Red and White make pink. That makes sense. Repose. Forces target to make to use the slash change pose command. Um, that makes sense. Like I said, streamlining it. Asylum. There's a dark knight in your party. Name of this ability will change to Arkham Asylum. Again, throw as many references as we can in there because it'll just prolong the longevity of the game to the point where we won't know that it's Final Fantasy anymore. We're going to think that we're playing World of Warcraft. We're going to think that we're playing fucking um, Metal Gear Solid or Batman the MMO. I think that is going to be great. Medica and Medica 2. Casting these spells will now use the MP of other party members. Uh, that is also really nice because I don't fucking care uh, about black mages and red mages. Or I mean, summoner is a limited job now, so I guess I don't. I really don't care about that. Scholar. Scholar has been renamed to Nerd. Um, I mean, those fucking nerds had it coming. If they're playing a fucking class called Scholar, they're going to, you know, they're already fucking nerds. But, um, Chain Stratagem. Uh, effect ends early if a nearby warrior uses Unchained. Eh. I mean, hmm. We already kind of saw that because Unchained now also removes all tethering effects. Sucker, uh, skill can now only be used after pulling a prank on another party member. We should change that. Um, let's see, where is it? Right there, thank you. Right there, there we go. Okay, now that makes sense. Uh, broil and Broil 2. These skills can now also be used as a culinarian. I was always wondering that. Why can't we cross-class Broil and Broil 2? Let's see, astrologian or astrologian or astrologian, um, yeah. Uh, let's see, you may now forward social links with certain NPCs in the world to unlock additional arcana. I like that a lot because, um, one, I fucking love Persona 5, uh, and Persona 4 and Persona 3, and I fucking love those games. And also because it, um, adds more options for when you're playing astrologian and i don't fucking like that class so now i might do something about it minor arcana you cannot use this ability while in possession of booze that makes sense collective unconscious afflicts all allies who enter the area of effect with sleep um i think that's more collecting unconscious but like i said at least they're making the actual abilities do what they say they're going to do. So I'm really happy about that. Let's see, what else is there? The arrow changes target into a bard. Spear changes target into a dragoon. Bowl changes into a botanist. I think that this could open up a ton, a absolute shitload of possibilities for amazing dragoon and botanist and bard and botanist combos. Because... We just don't know yet what kind of battle capabilities Botanist is capable of, especially if we're talking about something like a Savage Raid or Eureka. And I think that that could be a really interesting combo to see. Gravity. Added effect. Summon Sandra Bullock. More references. That's good. Also, if we have a real person uh, trapped in the world of the game, kind of like a SAO type thing, we can um, start shoving people that we don't like in there. So uh, Sandra Bullock's at the top of my shit list. And um, I think putting her in there will, I mean, yeah, it might make me unsub from the game. But the benefit from that is that uh, I won't have to see her ever again. And I think that's a really good thing. Blue Mage, in preparation 
for the expansion of Shadowbringers. The level cap of Blue Mage has been raised to 80. That's good. Um, but I think that they should have lowered the, the level cap instead. I think they should have lowered it down to 30. Just because I think leveling a, a class all the way up to level 50 is extremely painful. I, I just don't think that Blue Mage deserves to be level 50. I think it should be down to level 30. But that's just my opinion. You know. Thousand Needles. This skill can now also be used as a weaver. That makes sense. And it'll... Uh, I'm also guessing that it'll use 1,000... Um, uh, it'll use 1,000 rounds. 1,000 steps when you're crafting as a weaver. And it'll also have a 100% efficiency and a maybe 90% um success rate something like that bad breath this skill can not only be consumed can not only be used after consuming any type of dish that involves onions um it makes sense because if you brush your teeth every day then um you're not gonna have bad breath but if you eat some shit like onions then you're probably gonna have bad breath like that one fucking spongebob episode mighty guard uh usage of this skill uh will now cause your character to utter the word justice the name of the skill has been changed to all might guard in accordance with this change that makes sense more references keep it going i don't want to play final fantasy 14 anymore glower i have special eyes that is correct the following issues have been addressed uh an issue where in certain jobs did more damage than most other jobs that's true i think dps has way too much damage i think that they should be brought back into line with um with tanks and healers i think they all should be doing similar damage an issue wherein tanks could spend most of the fight in their dps stance mm, i don't think this is really i don't think that was really a problem though because like i said if we bring dps levels down to a tank then i think that a tank in dps stance should be just a little bit higher than dps damage wise so i think that that could i think that that if they didn't remove the dps stance issue and they just removed damage from dps jobs i really think that that would have been a good idea because then tank it would have been a tank meta just like league of legends and i think that is perfect for this game an issue wherein blue mages were unable to enter palace of the dead um i fucking hate palace of the dead and blue mage like i said i hate both of them so frankly i don't like this change just because i think both should be removed from the game an issue in eureka pagos wherein the elevators to take people back up cliffs did not spawn um to be fair whoever grinds eureka sh does deserves to stay in there um so i think if they stay in there forever then it's fine an issue in Eureka Pyros were in the Sleeping Dragon spawn in locations that were easy to avoid. I like this change because, like I said, they should just stay down there. And if they're not going to stay down there, then at least keep them in there as long as possible. An issue wherein bad players kept joining your parties. Now, I don't like this that much, but that's mostly my PTSD from being called the worst player in the world on multiple occasions. But at the same time, I don't really know. So, an issue wherein the leveling roulette would sometimes queue players up for a dungeon other than Sastasha. That, I've never run into that issue, I don't think. Mm, because I think the last six times that I've run leveling, no, I think I've run, yeah, I've run leveling roulette like six times in total, and I think I've gotten Sastasha in all of those times. Okay, um, so yeah, I've never encountered that issue actually, so I don't think that needed to be fixed. An issue wherein the 13th was correctly, incorrectly referred to as the World of Darkness. Uh, story stuff, um, I think that everything should just be an automated cutscene. I think that this game should just be one long ass movie, frankly. Uh, known issues. An issue wherein it is impossible to create a male Viera. Yeah, we know about that, but what are you going to do about it? You know, yeah, we have female Vieras, we have our masturbating material, whatever. An issue wherein fishers can catch items that are not fish. This happens to me in real life sometimes, so I don't think it's that big of an issue, and that's why I'm kind of happy that they're not fixing it. An issue wherein Shadowbringers has not been released. I think that Square Enix should get on that one immediately, because, um... 
frankly, Shadowbringers has been not out for too long, and I think we need it really soon. But anyways, uh, that's the full patch notes for patch 5.0. I am actually really excited for this patch, and I think that a lot of these changes, especially the Sandra Bullock one, is going to be stuff that benefits not only the game, but also just the world in general. Like our world, the real world. Like Sandra Bullock not being in our world, I think is perfect for the advancement of our society but anyways um i'm just really happy that i could read these patch notes with you guys and um yeah so i'll see you whenever i upload my next video so probably in like two years or something see you guys next time